Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I last posted up here, and I apologize for um, getting a little updated with uh, my content since that I haven't had the chance to um, do so, and I've been busy with a lot of stuff. So yeah, here I am, back with a new video for the first time in a while, and um, I want to talk to you guys about a little NBA action, especially with the slew of Game Threes that we had last night, especially. The Lakers uh, 116 to 108 win over the Portland Trailblazers. So that was another big win from the Lakers. Uh, I was aware that they lost the first game by seven points, and many people thought that um, they lost a step or they weren't enough to probably beat Portland or whatnot. But the Lakers rallied back with two straight wins and back to back big nights from Anthony Davis. And LeBron James had like a, a near triple double. He was like two assists shorts from a, uh, a triple double. And as he had 38 points, while well, Anthony Davis had 29 to go with 11 rebounds. And LeBron had 38 points, 12 rebounds, and 8 assists. Like I said, 2 assists short from a triple-double. And Anthony Davis also had 7 assists as well. And he had 2 good blocks as well. So, the Lakers are kind of peaking at the right time. And, like I said, 2 straight wins to rally to an, a big two to one series lead with game three with game four rather tomorrow at 6 p.m. so that's gonna be a really interesting battle to see how that goes to see if Portland has any fight left in them through the um, resurgence of Carmelo Anthony and that core duo of CJ McCollum and, Dan and Damian Lillard who uh, was on tear as of late when the play before the playoffs began so game four Tomorrow at 6, Lakers lead the series 2-1. And uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder have made their... have finally got one over the Houston Rockets last night that took overtime to do so with a 117-109 uh, victory, I believe. So, yeah, the Thunder have made this a series, finally, after losing two straight in big blowout fashion. Even the Houston Rockets are currently in the driver's seat with a 2-1 series lead. Even with the absence of Russell Westbrook, who's still dealing with a quadricep issue, we still don't know exactly when his return will be. But I know for a fact that Houston is playing like a complete team for the first two games, especially with the last one. Despite a big night from James Harden, Chris Paul got the upper hand. And four players um, on the Thunder during their overtime win had averaged 20 points. Chris Paul had 26. Shea Gilgis Alexander had 23, Danilo Gallinari with 20, but it was Dennis Schroeder, their sixth man coming off the bench, you know, 30-year-old point guard Dennis Schroeder led the team with 29 points, so big performance for him. Uh, James Harden had over 30 points, but again, the Thunder will prove to be much more resilient and has made this a series with their first win of the series last night, so that's really good. Uh, what else is that? Yeah, the Milwaukee Bucks flat out took care of business with the Orlando Magic with a 121-107 victory over uh, Nikola Vucevic and the Magic. So the Bucks are pretty much in the driver's seat themselves. Um, and you also had oh yeah, the Miami Heat and the Indiana Pacers with the Heat taking a real commanding three to nothing series lead. Hoping to go for a sweep tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. As Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo with Duncan Robinson with all leading the charge. Even without the expected performance of Jimmy Butler, guys like Bam Adebayo and Duncan Robinson have really paved the way for uh, Miami to, to uh, be in this position to make a 3 nothing sweep. So, that being said... If Indiana doesn't find a way to get out of this 3 0 hole, then their season will be over as soon as tomorrow. That we can say for sure. Now, speaking of series that could possibly end already as of today, you have the uh, Boston Celtics taking a 3 0 series lead over the Philadelphia 76ers, and the, uh, Bro the Toronto Raptors who have that same series lead over the Brooklyn Nets. So, both of those series can end in sweeps today. And you have game uh, four 
between the LA Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks with the Clippers have a two to one series lead themselves. And then you have the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz to uh, consider as Utah is already taking a two to one series lead themselves over the Nuggets. The improved play of Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert has really clicked into perfect harmony since their relationship was fractured back in March when Rudy Gobert was the first uh, basketball player, rather sports athlete ever to be tested positive for COVID-19, which prompted the league to uh, shut down indefinitely before deciding to return to play in late July. And then Gobert spread his uh, illness to Donovan Mitchell and a couple other teammates. And it's the reason why all Major League Sports had shut down from that point before resuming action. Of course, the NFL season is going to start next month, so which is no surprise. But the way they're going forward with this whole pandemic, especially with the fact that they have no plan in action to have their own bubble, it's kind of risky. I mean, so far we already had a couple of MLB uh, staff members and players already tested positive for COVID-19, especially... One staff member and one player for the New York Mets squad got the COVID, so MLB is just following their own protocol and whatnot. Speaking of MLB, I know the Dodgers won last night 4-3 to over the Rockies on a walk-off home run from Cody Bellinger as they're already the first team in, the, in Major League right now to reach 20 wins already. So the Dodgers are rolling on a train. The Houston Astros, the defending world champion Houston Astros, have been faltering as of late. And the Oakland Athletics have become one of the most surprising teams in the league. Well, not really, considering the fact that they made the playoffs for the last two years as a wildcard team. And they already have a huge, comfortable lead in the American League West Division, so that's really interesting. And yesterday was the first day of the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs with the Dallas Stars getting a 5-3 win over the Colorado Avalanche. And today you're going to see the uh, likes of the Las Vegas Golden Knights and the Vancouver Canucks, along with the likes of the Tampa Bay Lightning against the Boston Bruins, and also the Philadelphia Flyers against the New York Islanders. So there's eight teams left in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And yes... You do not hear the St. Louis champions, St. Louis, no, nah, St. Louis champions, excuse me, I don't know why I said that, but um, rather the Stanley Cup champions, St. Louis Blues, not in the second round because their season ended uh, a couple nights ago with a resounding 6-2 loss at the hands of the Vancouver Canucks in game six. So their season's done and Lord Stanley will have a new address this year. So it's either gonna be Colorado Las Vegas, New York, Boston, Tampa Bay, or Dallas. Who else? Colorado, Vancouver, Dallas. Who else? I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure out the uh, next team that I am. Um, what Western Conference team that I left out of. Because I already said Vancouver, I already said Dallas, I already said Colorado. Oh yeah, never mind. So... <laughs> I was lost in train of thought for a second, so. In the West, you have Colorado, Las Vegas, Dallas, and Vancouver. And in the East, you have Boston, New York, Tampa Bay, and Philadelphia. Eight teams left in the Stanley Cup playoffs, and only one can come away with a winner. And, yeah, that's enough about uh, sports action, as we all know it, around the world. Oh, by the way, some breaking news in the NFL since I mentioned it just a moment ago, the Baltimore Ravens have just cut and released, well, rather released uh, Pro Bowl safety Earl Thomas. Thomas already completed his uh, first year of a 40-year, $55 million contract that he signed with the Ravens last summer to shore up their defense. And this all already comes two days after a scuffle that he had with his teammate in safety, uh, Chuck Clark over a uh, missed coverage assignment in which Thomas posted up on Instagram sharing a clip of the altercation before he deleted it, obviously, on the gram. 
and uh, which detailed his incident, his detailed his clear view on the on the uh, altercation, in which had several teammates uh, separate them from the pack. Excuse me, excuse me, noise. So, and this also stems from months after he was held at gunpoint by his wife for allegedly cheating on him with another woman. So, it all stems from that. Plus, from what I've heard, there were reports about his teammates and coaches being irked with him, not fitting into their defensive scheme and missing assignments left and right, despite the fact that he made Pro Bowl honors last season. So, and the teammates already grew tired of that and not adjusting to their system and not adapting to his to their defensive scheme. So, it's a really surprising move, but at the same time, one that was forthcoming uh, in the events leading up to it. So, Earl Thomas is now officially a free agent. And from what I heard, the Dallas Cowboys are in the front running for his services. Because they were actually interested in him in a while during his final tenure as a member of the Seattle Seahawks. They were actually in the running for his services before they cut bait and roll with um, someone else going forward. So the Dallas Cowboys are in the running for Earl Thomas's services. And it'll be interesting to see exactly where he goes. You know, Especially with the NFL season officially like a couple of weeks away from uh, starting so with that being said even though with this whole COVID pandemic going on out and about it's still going to be interesting to see how all uh, all the sports around the world is going to carry on with us I mean I mean with no fans in attendance I mean I, I see no point but at the same time it's whatever. So anyways, that's all I have to say on the latest sports update that I know so far. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted, updated, exactly what goes down around the league. So today you have NBA action, especially between the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. The Toronto Raptors against the Brooklyn Nets. The Los Angeles Clippers against the, uh... Dallas Mavericks and of course the Utah Jazz against the Denver Nuggets so it'll be interesting to see exactly how this goes let me know in the comment section exactly who you got in each playoff series in the NBA and if you're a hockey fan you can comment on the same thing and uh, I'm gonna give you like another sports update exactly at some point either later on today or in or the next day so do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know exactly what you think in the comment section. And I'll see y'all next time, okay? Peace.